The cheapest gas in the state is coming out of te North Texas gas pumps, but drivers aren't just filling up for $1.99. We reported on some of those prices. Uh, not even $1.95. It, it's falling well below that. A Keller gas station dropped its prices to a buck seventy-five, and when a competitor matched that, the station went even lower. Fox Force Brandon Todd is in Keller. All right, Brent, I, I understand kind of even running back and forth between gas stations trying to keep up with all this pricing. So I know you know what it is where you are. What's, what's the lowest price you've seen? Yeah, well, right behind me is that sign that has been all over Twitter and Facebook. There it is, $1.69 a gallon for uh, regular cash. And now, you know, Steve, I could probably use an easel and charts and lots of fancy numbers to explain the reasons why gas prices are dropping. But folks we talked to today really don't care why. They just hope it lasts. It didn't take long for word to spread that this Exxon in Keller on Highway 377 was down to a buck 75 a gallon. It's great, man. It's a blessing just in time for Christmas. We saw it on Facebook, so we came over here. It was a cash only price, part of a promotion for a new Schlotzky's. And I can't believe this. I wish I had some more five gallon cans where I could fill them up and keep them at home. It was almost like a celebrity sighting. People couldn't wait to snap a photo of the sign. He mailed it to the rest of my friends so they'll know how much they don't believe it. For Amanda Borjas, it was a secret she couldn't keep to herself. Put it on Facebook. What for? So I'll tell my friends it's a dog from the phone. And not to be outdone, this QT just down the street matched it. That makes a difference. <laughs> yeah, it does. It really does. Especially right before Christmas. Exactly, yeah. yeah. You use that money for Christmas gifts. A growing number of stations throughout the Metroplex aren't far behind. Prices were down below $2 a gallon in several places. $1.95 a gallon at more than one pump in Fort Worth. Automotive expert Ed Wallace says for consumers, it's a nice holiday treat. Low gas always spurs on the economy. It did in the 80s. It certainly did in the 90s. But other issues seem to be at play now. So it's a question whether oil continues to drop and that could happen for reasons other than supply and demand. Wallace says it's too early to tell whether the price at the pump will continue to drop. The price that we're getting today at the pump is going to disappear sooner or later. And with prices tied into oil and gas futures, where there is gain for consumers, there is loss in the speculation markets. There's tens of billions of dollars of losses and nobody's fessed up to who took them. All right, back out live here, Steve. I got to tell you, there's a lot of people who remember not long ago, the price of oil was a lot higher and the gas prices were a lot higher. So, you know, so the, some of the people we talked to today, if if those speculation uh, people in the market who drove up the price of oil and gas uh, a long time ago are losing that money now, these people that were gassing up for $1.69 a gallon today are not going to lose a lot of sleep over that. And I can tell you, if you're curious, uh, if the QT matched the $1.69, they did. You got two okay. gas stations here at a buck sixty-nine. Gas Keller. wars in Keller. <laughs> gas wars in Keller. Yeah, yeah. It's, it's interesting, isn't it, Brandon? Fill in the tank basically for half of what we were before. It's, it's, yeah. it's a lot of fun to fill up, surprisingly. It's Very nice. To say that, but it's nice. All right, thanks a lot, Brandon.